situational awareness. In this presentation, we will discuss what to do in situations that you may encounter while working on the piling grounds. It is extremely difficult to anticipate every situation that may occur while on the job, but we will discuss some of the most common scenarios and help everyone understand how to respond in a safe manner. Situation. Employees forget there is a speed limit while driving on the piling grounds. Every piling ground has a speed limit of 15 miles per hour and it is enforced. This speed limit is intended to keep everyone safe. Employees, truck traffic, and heavy equipment are constantly traversing the grounds. While driving on the grounds, trucks and heavy equipment have the right of way. Give them the space they need to operate. Response. Vehicular speed on the piling grounds. Everyone driving on the grounds is expected to follow the speed limit of 15 miles per hour and follow the dedicated routes. Speeders will lose their parking pass and their ability to park at their pilers. In some cases, this can result in a long walk from the parking lot to their piler and potentially discipline or termination. Situation. Truck tailgate will not open. The truck is backed up to the cross conveyor and the tailgate will not open to release the beats. Response. In previous years, drivers have attempted to manually unlatch tailgates while at the piler. This is very dangerous and will no longer be allowed. Drivers will be required to pull away from the piler to work on their tailgate. Under no circumstance are employees to assist the truck driver. Situation. Truck driver gets out of the truck while backed into the piler. Response. In previous years, drivers have gotten out of their truck to communicate with an employee or to address an issue with their trucks. Drivers will not be allowed outside of the cab of their truck while backed into the piler. If a driver does get out of their truck, shut the piler down safely and contact a beat receiving leader or supervisor to assist. Operations may resume once the driver has re-entered their truck. Situation. Truck driver attempts to climb on the piler. Response. In previous years, drivers have climbed on top of the cross conveyors or other parts of the piler to work on issues with their truck or to get a visual of their beats in the piler. Under no circumstance should any driver climb onto any part of the piler. This is a very dangerous act and has led to severe injuries and death. If a driver does attempt to climb onto the piler, Shut the piler down immediately and contact a beat receiving leader or supervisor to address the situation. This situation and response also applies to the piler employees. Situation. Where should employees stand while the truck is backing up into the cross conveyor? Response. Drivers struggle to see people walking around their trucks while they are backing into the cross conveyor. Piler employees should always be aware of what the truck driver is doing. Never put yourself between the truck and the piler. Always make sure you have visual contact with the driver before walking around the truck. If you can't see the driver, the driver can't see you. Situation. Where should an employee stand while the truck is unloading? Response. When the truck is unloading, the trailer creates a tip zone hazard in the area surrounding the trailer. Piler employees should never stand next to the trailer while it is unloading. Employees must stand in the designated safe zones. Those zones are located between the piler and the beat pile or far enough away to be clear of the tip zone. Situation. Mechanical or electrical problem is noticed on the piler. Response. Mechanical electrical problems can occur at any time on the pilers. If an employee notices any abnormalities with the piler, squeaking sounds, loud vibrations, etc., Contact a beat receiving leader immediately. The proper personnel will then diagnose the problem and determine the correct course of action. Under no circumstance will a piler employee attempt to make repairs on the piler. Situation. Build up of mud on and around the piler. Response. Over the course of a shift, mud will build up on the piler and will need to be scraped or shoveled to be removed. Some mud removal around the outside of the piler can be performed while the piler is operating. Make sure you are aware of truck traffic while performing this task. 
If the mud builds up in the piler, example, rollers, belts, dirt hopper, this will require the employee to climb into the piler to remove the dirt. Before entering the piler, notify your BRL or supervisor. Ensure the piler has been locked out and all coworkers are made aware of the job taking place. Before unlocking the machine, a head count of all employees will be done along with a count of tools used. Situation, behavioral concerns. Employees and drivers come from all walks of life and sometimes do not make the best decisions. Behavioral concerns could involve any of the following but are not limited to this list. Angry drivers, dangerous or erratic driving, hostile behavior between employees or drivers, witness the consumption of drugs or alcohol, verbal or physical harassment between employees or drivers, and witness to weapons. Response. Employees must remain calm. Employees must contact their beat receiving leader or supervisor immediately to address the situation. Employees are not expected to handle behavioral situations alone. All situations must be handled with caution to avoid any escalation to hostility between the parties involved. Situation. What should an employee do if someone is injured or has a medical emergency? Response. Accidents and injuries happen, but the time it takes to respond can make the difference between life or death. If an employee or driver has been injured or is experiencing a medical emergency, the first thing to do is shut down any equipment the employee is near to avoid further injury. Contact a beat receiving leader or supervisor immediately. Depending on the severity of the injury, 911 may be called for assistance. An investigation will follow once the employee or driver has been treated. Witness statements will be required from nearby employees to assist with the investigation. These statements are not an attempt to assign fault, but to give us a better understanding of what happened so we can prevent the accident from occurring again. Situation. Accidents resulting in damage of Michigan Sugar Company or grower property. Response. Accidents do happen and sometimes result in damage to property. If an employee witnesses an accident occur, shut the machine down so the proper personnel can determine the cause and the severity of the damage. In some cases, the damage can result in significant downtime. Contact a beat receiving leader or supervisor immediately. An investigation will follow once the employee or driver has been treated. Witness statements will be required from nearby employees to assist with the investigation. These statements are not an attempt to assign fault, but to give us a better understanding of what happened so we can prevent the accident from occurring again. Situation. Repairs are being made to the piler. Where should an employee be while repairs are being made to the piler? Response. These are the expectations of an employee while a piler is being repaired. If the work will only take a few minutes, employees are expected to remain at the piler and clean the area. If determined repairs will take 15 minutes or more, the beat receiving leaders will allow the crew to take a break. If the work will take more than one hour, management may decide to move the crew to another piler for the duration of work. Every scenario is different and expectations of the piler crew during repair downtime may vary shift to shift. When a piler goes down, this is not the green light for everyone to walk off the job. It is frustrating for all involved to have to track down the piler crew when the repairs are made. Most important, do not leave the area during downtime unless instructed by a member of management or a beat receiving leader. As mentioned at the beginning, this list does not contain every situation that can occur on the piling grounds, just the most frequent. It is up to all of us to keep safety as the priority while on the job by looking out for each other and taking a moment to ensure what you're doing is being done in the safest manner possible. We appreciate you all for taking the time to watch and listen to this video. Your safety is our number one priority. We want to wish you all a safe, successful, and happy harvest. Thank you.